because he's really trying to get the attention of people when it comes to form and substance because the earth is filled with so much form and no power, particularly in the churches. When the Holy Spirit hovers over you, you really don't have any form in the spirit realm. You really are lost in dark. You understand what I'm saying? If the Holy Spirit doesn't hover over your waters, scientists say that we're 99% water in our bodies and in our chemical makeup. So if the Holy Spirit is hovering over you right now, you can call on God and He will say, Light be. And the name of light is Jesus. In Him was life and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness can't comprehend it or contain it. So Jesus or God is saying, Jesus be in the universe. He's releasing all of the glory of Christ into the universe over this formless, darkless, voidless mass. And that's how form takes substance. Now, you may have a formless, voidless situation in your life. You might have circumstances in your life that you can't make heads or tails out of because you don't know the answer. Maybe you don't understand what it takes for you to get to the position God wants you to be in right now. You have to have light in your life. You have to have Christ in your life, not in the mind, but in the substance. We're talking about substance. The church has full of form, but the substance is not there. And the substance is Christ, which are a shadow of things to come, but the substance is Christ. So Paul is talking about how the, the church, uh, the early Christians in this particular situation, wanted to go back and take Judaism in. They wanted to, to uh, observe the feast. They wanted to... Uh, uh, have the new moon or the Sabbath. In other words, they wanted to go back underneath the law. Mm -hmm. and, and Paul is saying, these are shadows of things. The substance is Christ. And we're seeing the same thing happen even in, the, even in today's time. Important. And as you were uh, reading Genesis 1, I was just listening, the Lord just, just speaking light into the people. And he's not just saying, oh Jesus, uh, I invite you to live into my heart. It's when the Father pronounces Jesus into your heart. Yeah. Then, then the what it, what what has no form, right. and this is your destiny. This is this is who you are. This is who who we, you were seen before the foundation of the world. Because one thing is the way we see ourselves, and the other way is how Jesus sees you, how the Father sees you. And when the Father speaks, let it be light. Jesus be manifested in your spirit then the order is going to take place. Whatever was conceived by God before the foundation of the world is going to start to take form. Mm -hmm. But it's so important that the Father speaks it. And as I am saying this, I am literally mm -hmm. hearing the Father speaking Jesus into, into the camera, into wherever you Amen. are, He's saying, Jesus, let it be light, let it be form. I want to form you. By, for, for, for the purpose I have called you, for the new things I have prepared for you for this hour, because it is certainly a time of transformation, a time of reformation, a time of reordering all things, because a lot of people are so divided in the church today because of the form, because this one takes this form, and this one takes this form, and this one takes this form, and they say, well, we, we don't look like you, or we don't think like you, but it is not about the looks, or, or, or what we think is about the substance of what God is in us, the church. It, what we have today mm -hmm. is, is such a low level of consciousness of men that it's being controlled by fear. Mm -hmm. You see, the mm -hmm. level that God released into the universe was a vibrational frequency of love. Mm -hmm. If you get hold of this, you'll transform it. The frequency of love, nothing in the universe is higher. 
Nothing moves at that speed. It is a speed beyond light. It is a speed of thought. When God thinks it, you can receive it and you can be it. Hallelujah. But you have to have that, you have to be on His wave frequency. Because if you get that and you understand it, it's not about form anymore. Mm -hmm. It's about knowing Christ. Mm -hmm. And if you know Christ and you start to love Him the way He loves you, your whole being is going to start to vibrate at a different frequency. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be attacked by diseases. You're not going to be attacked by fear. The thoughts that want to come into your mind that are dark are going to be repelled by that electromagnetic field of Christ that is around you because you're in Him. More than each one of us as we enter the Holy Spirit. And that, this is why we have to be so hungry and so thirsty for Him. Because as we enter, as we are in the Spirit, as we are starting to hear His voice, like you were saying, the vibration of His voice, in Genesis, as, as we are hearing the voice, the sound of his voice, the light starts to manifest and then a new revelation of Christ will come to each and every one of us. Well, Father, I pray that this revelation you, penetrates the heart of Thank every you, person, Thank that they you, will Jesus. start Thank just you, falling Jesus. in love with Thank the light, you, with a substance Thank that you, more than thinking in, 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 in knowing more and more scripture yes, and what is this saying and yes, what this other person is saying is God I want to see you I want to know you I want the revelation that God has for Anna for I want the revelation that God has for you whatever your name is George if you're listening to us down there in Delaware we bless you and 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 those guys in in Texas and in Philadelphia and in Europe that are listening to us we bless you in Thank the name you, of Jesus